I know that I've been really addicted to the idea of like at X amount of weeks I'll be jogging and X amount of months I'll be doing this and it's just a really for me anyways a bad mindset because you rush and you get disappointed and Today is day 117. I got to kick a ball lightly today, which was super awesome. And uh, they say it takes a long time, or it feels like it takes a long time. I think it feels <laughs> like it's taken a really long time. I've had a lot of bumps, but somebody else said this well. I think I've already said this actually. If you look at it from a wide angle, are you improving over the space of a month? I know that I've been really addicted to the idea of like, at X amount of weeks, I'll be jogging. At X amount of months, I'll be doing this. And it's just a really, for me anyways, a bad mindset because you rush and you get disappointed. And sometimes you need to be beaten up in terms of having speed bumps in the road. Once you have those speed bumps, then you're kind of like, okay, screw timelines. I'm just going to do it when I'm ready. And then you start to, you know, relax day in and day out. And you're okay with how long it takes to come back from something like this. And... And yeah, so I kicked the ball today. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. Hey, I don't even know what day it is. This ACL has been so difficult. Um, everyone said it would just be normal PT. It's been really difficult because of my own personality. I've just had pain throughout it. I'm behind. Everyone keeps saying I'm behind, so I should be farther ahead. And uh, Or maybe it's just me. I'm saying I'm behind, but it feels like I'm behind. I'm six months. I'm not jogging yet, so that is technically behind. And... I've went to three different PTs and maybe it's not their fault, maybe it's my fault for jumping around so often, but the initial PTs that I went to, it was just, I was just in constant pain um, and like setback after setback. So I'd be like doing exercise, oh, I have this pinching pain. And then they would be like, okay, well, let's just go down a little bit and do less. And then I'd have to rest maybe for a week or three days or whatever or they would have done some form of extension with my knee or flexion. And then like I couldn't walk properly for two or three days. So I was over that. So I went and looked for a new PT. This new PT is very good in terms of helping your body go from walking, or I would say like 
making your body even throughout your body's asymmetrical so he's like look your body's asymmetrical so let's make it symmetrical but i don't really do any like pt it's much more like let's strengthen the diaphragm let's strengthen the glutes and the core which is pt but not in your traditional sense so he's not really looking into moving or running and he never really will um which i thought he might so maybe i'll do a combination of both but i'm just freaking frustrated and it feels like i am getting better actually and so therefore i know eventually i would get better but i probably i want to be on the path to return to my team in july or if not earlier but it doesn't freaking look that way and that sucks but i guess what i should say is okay whatever and just come back when i'm ready but if i miss the season because i'm still rehabbing that would really suck so i don't know so the three to six month mark is a really tough time because there's not a lot of change you've started walking at this point Remember, I tore my ACL and my meniscus and had bone contusions, so it wasn't a typical ACL where it's just the ACL, which just means you have to, it takes a little bit longer to walk and therefore it takes longer to heal. But between the three to six month, it's a difficult time in the ACL process because there's not a lot of change. The very beginning, from zero to three months, you're like, in pain but oh my gosh now I'm on one crutch now I'm on no crutches now I'm riding a bike and then now you've got a relatively normal life in terms of walking then from three to six it's like you're normal but you can't really do anything outside of walking and then after six month mark that changes and that's where we'll visit the next episode thanks guys for watching and if you have any questions like subscribe comment and uh, talk soon